Hello, welcome to Great Prime TV. Here we bring you scripture-based prayers, prayers in line with the scriptures. Join us in this session as we pray. I believe God with you today that as we begin to pray, heaven will open up to you and open unto you in such a very terrific manner and God will reach out to you at the very point of your needs. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he said, call upon me, call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. There are things you don't know, there are things you need to know and they are great and they are mighty. Heaven wants to show them to you, but you must pray. And I believe God with you today, as we start calling upon God, great things and strength things are going to happen in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe God with you today. You see, we are in the days of prayer, we are in the days of intercession, we are in the days of aggressive and intimate intercession, intimate, intimate, aggressive intimacy with God. And I believe God as we begin to pray today, heaven will open up to you. I pray for you today that as you begin to call upon God, let there be a build up of intimacy. Let God draw you to himself. Let mercy prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Acts chapter 6 verse 4, they said, we will give ourselves to the ministry of the world and prayer. So prayer is not a gift. Prayer is a discipline. You give yourself to prayer. Nobody's gift here to the anointing to pray. People exercise exercise themselves into championship people exercise themselves into discipline and as you do that praying all the time you see yourself praying and not wanting to stop God is going to make all grace abound towards you the Bible says first John 1 verse 1 and that which was from the beginning which I have seen with our eyes which I have looked upon which our hands have handled which I have seen with our eyes we have heard with our ears which you have looked upon which our hands have handled and I believe God with you today that your hands will handle a testimony your hands will handle wonders your hands will handle a miracle I make this declaration as a prayer cover over your children that your expectation for your children will not fail your expectation for your spouse will not fail the God of heaven will fight battles both seen and unseen in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. If you are watching my television, I want you right now to call somebody and tell them Celebration TV is on the air and we are on Wonders Without Number. If you are watching online, touch the like button and begin to share the link. You are hereby suddenly saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are hereby suddenly saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are hereby suddenly saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are here by suddenly saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are here by suddenly saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are here by suddenly saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit that the hand of God will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. What man cannot do for you. What friends cannot do for you. What colleagues cannot do for you. May the hand of God do it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to walk in the blessings and the benefits of God and the benefit of his word and what he has promised and what he has said will manifest in your life, will put on flesh in your life, will show forth in your life. The blessings of God's word. I pray for you today and pray for everything you lay your hand to do. I declare on common wealth in the name of Jesus. Amen. My time has come. My time has come. My time has come. Listen to me. When you walk into an interview and you are about to be asked questions, the first thing you say is, Lord, my time has come. When you appear, there are midst of people. You are in the midst of people who need a lot of things. When you say, my time has come, you put a seal and you take ownership of that season. When we say, my time has come, is after the order of Psalm 102, verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her year. The said time has come. My time has come. When you walk into any place, you start shouting, my time has come. My time has come. My time. People don't understand that you have come there to seize the moment and take the season. After the order. When you say, my time has come, mercy shows up. Favor shows up. My set time to favor you has come, said the Lord. When you say, my time has come, you are saying, I've, I've seized the moment. I'm taking advantage and leverage. Of this opportunity my time has come 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 when you say my time has come you release the god of big things he does big things and i decree in the name of jesus even as god is god your time 
to be favored. Your time to be lifted. Your time to be blessed. Your time to expand. Your time for your career to flourish. Your profession to expand. Your time for your children to excel has come in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at what the word of the Lord says. Now do something. If you are watching by television, call someone and let them know one that's without number is on the L Celebration TV. If you are listening to Mixel Arrow, also inform someone. If you are watching online, do something now. Touch the like button, but above all, share the link. Let somebody pray. This will be a, a blessing to someone if you can teach them to pray. If this generation understands prayer, if this generation becomes a praying generation, there will be less evils. There will be less contention. The reason we see contention is because people don't pray. When you pray, there are lots of things you can't even have capacity to do. Because prayer refires your spirit. Prayer makes you spiritual. So, share the link right now. Share to at least 50 people. If everyone can share to at least 50 people, we invade the timelines. Share, share, keep sharing till you share through. 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 If there is a man to pray, yes, God to us. Somebody say, My time has come. My time has come. Nahum 1 verse 9. What do you imagine against the Lord? Nahum chapter 1 verse 9. He shall make an utter end. I like the word. Utter end. Affliction shall not rise, shall not rise up the second time. Our two prayers are coined from this verse of scripture. It shall make an utter end. Lord, this is heavy. Not just an utter end. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. There are evil, there are satanic consort and wickedness. God says, I will make an utter end. And as you pray this prayer, God will make an utter end of evil in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Make another end of evil. Write down on your platform. Write that on your page. Write it. Go to the comment section. Write it. Go to the, your uh, IG story. Go to your WhatsApp story. Write it. Make an utter end of evil in my life. And hashtag wonders without number. Invade. Go on X or former Lunas Twitter. Go there. Write it. Just write it everywhere. Every platform you have. Do that now. Do that now. Do that now. Let the devil go mad. Go to all those platforms and write. Make another end of evil in my life. Do that right now. Make another end of evil in my life. 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 Number one. Make another end of evil in my life. Shout again. Make another end of evil in my life. Shout again. Make another end of evil in my life. Shout again. Make another end of evil in my life. Again. Make another end of evil in my life. Again. Make another end of evil in my life. Make another end of evil in my life. Again. Make another end of evil in my life. 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 Let's 
of Jesus. Amen. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Somebody say, My time has come. My time has come. Say, My time has come. My time has come. I want you to say this all the time in your business. When somebody say, I want us, what, what's going on? Say, my time has come. How come you have bought a car? My time has come. You've got in the house. My time has come. Before you get it and after you get it, that should be your logo, your anthem. Your anthem, my time has come. My time for favor. As you are going for that interview, as you are going for that interview, my time has come. Whatever you're going for, whatever you are seeking from the Lord, say it. My time has come. There's somebody... You'll be going for interviews, but there's a problem. Whenever it's almost getting to your turn, the interview will be cancelled. You will sit down there. You'll be in the office. When is it getting to your turn? They'll say it's cancelled. It's happened to you once, twice, thrice. You're going for a fourth interview. That spell of joblessness, that yoke of joblessness is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this time you'll be favored. There's a footballer. You brought your wife to where you live. As soon as you were against the wishes of your people, they didn't want you to bring that woman you married to the place where you work, you're playing for. You did that. As soon as you did that, your career began to retrogress. And now they are pointing hands. They did what they did to you, but they are pointing hands on that lady and you want to send that lady away. She's always crying. You want to send her away because you feel that since she came, your career is retrogressing but they your people did what they did now in the name of jesus let the strong man be exposed let the truth blow open let the truth come to light let this innocent young lady be vindicated by the almighty god in the name of jesus christ Amen. what shall you imagine against the lord touch the like button and share the link make sure you share the link he will make an utter end for affliction shall not rise up a second time the second time now this speaks of satanic reinforcement there's one thing about the devil when you pull him down he always reinforces satan doesn't give up even concerning jesus if you read matthew chapter 4 from verse 4 luke 4 from verse 4 when he left jesus the bible say he left for a season he didn't leave finally he didn't leave totally he left satan never gives up that's a virtue of the devil he keeps trying. He said, I go about the toe and fro the earth looking for whom I made the vow. Satanic reinforcement. Don't forget, Jesus was talking to us in Matthew chapter 12. He said, when an evil spirit is cast out of a man, he wandered through dry places seeking rest and finding none and says, I will return back to the house I have left. You see that? Satanic reinforcement. When it says rise up a second time, it means you must pray against satanic reinforcement. I reject every satanic reinforcement in my life. 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 I reject, I reject, I reject, I reject, I reject. See my father, my father, my father, my father, shout it louder than that. My my father, father, my father. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. As I begin to pray, as as I, begin begin to pray, pray I, reject I reject every satanic reinforcement in my life. Every every satanic satanic reinforcement in my life. I reject, I reject every satanic reinforcement in my life. Every satanic reinforcement in my life. I reject, I reject every satanic reinforcement in my life. Every satanic reinforcement in my life. Open your mouth and fire please. Ya 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 
Jesus name. Amen. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Wherever you hear the sound of my voice from, I decree upon your life today that God shall make an utter end of evil in your life and family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree no more evil in your life. No more evil in your family. It has come to an utter end. It has come to an utter end. It has come to an utter end in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray today against satanic reinforcement. What is gone is gone forever. Sickness will not return back. Affliction will not return back. Disease will not return back. Setback will not return back. Pain will not return back. Hardship will not return back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree upon your life. Enter a new season of power, of grace, of intervention, of help, and begin to enjoy the blessings of God. Begin to enjoy the covenant promises that God has ordained for you. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed. Dr. Tessie. I don't know who is by that name. Dr. Tessie. The Lord is taking confusion. You're about to make a decision and you're confused. Clarity is coming to your spirit. Clarity. Clarity, clarity in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see a woman, your husband has packed out of the house and moved into another woman's house. And now that woman is taunting you, writing things, posting things to taunt you, taking videos and pictures with your husband. And this is the father of your children. Right now, I command the bewitchment, that power that has bewitched your husband, is mine. Let that spare be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let his mind be restored. And I turn his eyes in the realm of the spirit back to his own family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. There are 93 people. The Lord says I should tell you that this September, your wedding gown and wedding suits are released. Your marriage will manifest. As I speak, there are about 11 of you who have nobody, no partner. But the Lord said God will bring a partner this September. And the settlement will still be this September. It shall happen by his finger in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I bless you with the blessings of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand on that spot. Si vous êtes malade, placez vos mains gauche. And stretch your hand towards me. Et tendez l'autre main vers moi. I rebuke sickness. Je réprimande la maladie. I rebuke disease. Je réprimande la maladie. I rebuke infirmity. Je réprimande l'infirmity. I rebuke affliction. Je réprimande les afflictions. No! In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go in the name of Jesus. Amen. That you be healed. Be made whole. Be free. Be healed. From the crowns of your head. To the sole of your feet. Be healed. Someone with a stubborn chronic blood disease has been healed. Stubborn chronic blood disease. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Your time has come. Somebody say, my time has come. My time has come. Say, my time has come. My time has come. Let's see. The Bible says, Psalm 144, verse 6. Cast forth lightning. Hmm. Scatter them. And scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. The wicked oppressions of darkness. God says he wants to cast forth lightning on them. Every act of wickedness in my life. Oh Lord, cast forth your lightning, scatter them, and destroy them. Every act of wickedness in my life, oh Lord, cast forth your lightning, shoot, cast forth your lightning, scatter them, and destroy them. Every act of wickedness in my life, oh Lord, cast forth your lightning, scatter them, destroy them. Every act of wickedness in my life, Oh Lord, cast forth your lightning, scatter them and destroy them. Every act of wickedness in my life, oh Lord, cast forth your lightning, scatter them and destroy them. Every act of wickedness in my life, oh Lord, cast forth your lightning, scatter them and destroy them. Every act of wickedness in my life, oh Lord, cast forth your lightning, scatter them and destroy them. 
every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them say my father my father my, my father, father, father. father. shout it louder than that my, my father, father my father every act of wickedness in my life every act of wickedness in my life oh lord Cast forth your lightning, project your lightning, scatter them, scatter them and destroy them. them. Oh Lord, oh Lord, cast forth your lightning, project your lightning, scatter them, scatter them and destroy them. Open your mouth and fire pray. Thank you. 
I decree that every one act of wickedness that you've experienced, every one act of wickedness that's resident in your life, may the Lord cast forth his lightning, may he scatter them, may he destroy them in the name of Jesus. Amen. The plans and the purpose of God for your life, I decree they will come to pass. You will not cast your young. The hand of God shall be your real reward. You will enter a new season, a season that will make you unstoppable. A season of rest, a season of peace. God will frustrate the talking of liars. He will make diviners mad. He will disappoint the device of the crafty and their hands cannot perform their enterprise. I decree a blessing of God upon you. I decree the grace of God upon you. I decree the power of God upon you. I decree the strength of God upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May you arise. Thank you, Father. Everyone that has an exam to write, you'll be writing and failing. The Lord said to tell you today, not anymore. Success! In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord is opening doors for people. I've seen 63 people. I just saw a key thrown at you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't know what I'm seeing. Somebody's about to go for an operation. You are not sick, but you're about to do something on your skin. You are not sick. I don't know what it is you're about doing on your skin. The Lord says I should tell you not to do it. Because if you do it, it will develop into something you don't like. You're about to do something on your skin. You are not sick. This operation is not because you're sick. There's something about to beautify your skin or something. The Lord said, don't do it. Because if you do it, it's going to be bad. Don't do it. There's a woman who is sitting with her husband. You're holding hands. You've been married and you don't have a child. Be fruitful. Be made fruitful in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Claudia. There's somebody called Claudia. Claudia Claudia the Lord is giving you a testimony and is restoring your wasted years your wasted years are being restored in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. if you are sick in body place one hand there stretch your hand towards me I decree healing from the crown of your head the soles of your feet heal your bones to your tissues your blood in Jesus name Amen. Psalm 18, I believe it's 3. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. First Samuel 24, 19. When a man finds his enemies, will he let them go away? God has told us that life is full of enemies. Enemies. Genesis 49, verse 8. Judah, thou art him whom that brethren shall praise, and thy leg shall be on the neck of your enemies. Enemies are real. 
but victory is sure. He said, let not my enemies triumph over me. We're going to take that as prayer. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Pray it loud and clear. Let not my enemies triumph over me. 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 Say, my father, my father. Shout it louder than that. Shout it again. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. As I begin to pray. Que je prie, let not my enemies triumph over me. Que mes ennemis ne triomphent pas sur moi. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Que mes ennemis ne triomphent pas sur ma vie. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Que mes ennemis ne triomphent pas sur ma vie. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Que mes ennemis ne triomphent pas sur ma vie. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Que mes ennemis ne triomphent pas sur ma vie. Open your mouth and fire prayers. I decree. 
your enemies will not triumph over you. Those that are praying to see your end, you will see their end. By the mercy of God and by his grace, he will keep you. He will preserve you. He will sustain you. He will protect you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You begin to enjoy the blessings of God. The benefits of God's promises will be made manifest in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That you will increase on all sides. You will prosper and you will do well. Helen, Alex. Helen, Alex. The Lord says, I should tell you, the curse is turned to a blessing. The curse is turned to a blessing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There's a lady who has nowhere to stay. They threw you out of the house. Nowhere to stay. You can't afford a new place. God said by divine angelic supply. Accommodation is coming. Strangely. God is giving you a way. He's giving you help. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing some people who got admission in foreign institutions. But can't pay their fees. God is saying supply comes. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know. I, I know. You've got an attack on your armpit. It's like it's going rotten. I command it to dry up. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak the blessings of God upon your life. Everyone that the sound of my voice, you will not be ashamed. Your enemies will not triumph over you. The Lord will keep you and preserve you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You are sick in body, put your left hand on that spot. Si vous êtes malade, mettez votre main gauche. And stretch your hand towards me. Étendez l'autre main vers moi. I command sickness to go. Je command la maladie de partir. I command disease to go. Les infirmités de partir. I command infirmity to go. Les afflictions de partir. Be healed. Soyez guéri. In Jesus' mighty name. Dans le nom de Jésus. My time has come. My time has come. My time has come. Listen to me. When you walk into an interview, and you are about to be asked questions. The first thing you say is, Lord, my time has come. When you appear, there are midst of people. You are in the midst of people who need a lot of things. When you say, my time has come, you put a seal and you take ownership of that season. When we say, my time has come, is after the order of Psalm 102, verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her year. The said time has come. My time has come. When you walk into any place, you start shouting, my time has come. My time has come. My time. People don't understand that you have come there to seize the moment and take the season after the other. When you say, my time has come, mercy shows up. Favor shows up. My set time to favor you has come, say the Lord. When you say, my time has come, you are saying, I've, I've seized the moment. I'm taking advantage and leverage of this opportunity my time has come 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 when you say my time has come you release the god of big things he does big things and i decree in the name of jesus even as god is god your time to be favored your time to be lifted your time to be blessed your time to expand your time for your career to flourish your profession to expand your time for your children to excel has come in the name of jesus christ amen. amen look at what the word of the lord says now do something if you are watching by television call someone and let them know one that's without number is on the l celebration tv if you are listening to mixel arrow also inform someone if you are watching by online do something now touch the like button but above all share the link let somebody pray this will be a, a blessing to someone if you can teach them to pray. If this generation understands prayer, if this generation becomes a praying generation, there will be less evils. There will be less contention. The reason we see contention is because people don't pray. When you pray, there are lots of things you can't even have capacity to do. Because prayer refires your spirit. Prayer makes you spiritual. So, Share the link right now. Share to at least 50 people. If everyone can share to at least 50 people, we invade the timelines. 
share, share, keep sharing till you share through. 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 If there is a man to pray, praise God to us. Somebody say, My time has come. My time has come. Nahum 1 verse 9. What do you imagine against the Lord? Nahum chapter 1 verse 9. It shall make an utter end. I like the word. Utter end. Affliction shall not rise, shall not rise up the second time. Our two prayers are coined from this verse of scripture. It shall make an utter end. Lord, this is heavy. Not just an utter end. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. There are evil, there are satanic consort and wickedness. God says, I will make an utter end. And as you pray this prayer, God will make an utter end of evil in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Make another end of evil. Write down on your platform. Write that on your page. Write it. Go to the comment section. Write it. Go to the, your uh, IG story. Go to your WhatsApp story. Write it. Make an utter end of evil in my life. And hashtag wonders without number. Invade. Go on X or formerly known as Twitter. Go there. Write it. Just write it everywhere. Every platform you have. Do that now. Do that now. Do that now. Let the devil go mad. Go to all those platforms and write. Make another end of evil in my life. Do that right now. Make another end of evil in my life. 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 Number one. Make another end of evil in my life. Shout again. Make another end of evil in my life. Shout again. Make another end of evil in my life. Shout again. Make another end of evil in my life. Again. Make another end of evil in my life. Again. Make another end of evil in my life. Make another end of evil in my life. Again. Make another end of evil in my life. 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 Ya da 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 da
There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. Somebody say, My time has come. My time has come. Say, My time has come. My time has come. I want you to say this all the time in your business. When somebody says, I want us, what, what's going on? Say, My time has come. How come you bought a car? My time has come. You've gotten a house. My time has come. Before you get it and after you get it, that should be your logo, your anthem. Your anthem, my time has come. My time for favor. As you are going for that interview, as you are going for that interview, my time has come. Whatever you're going for, whatever you are seeking from the Lord, say it. My time has come. There's somebody. You'll be going for interviews. But there's a problem. Whenever it's almost getting to your turn, the interview will be cancelled. You will sit down there. You'll be in the office. When is it getting to your turn? They'll say it's cancelled. It's happened to you once, twice, thrice. You're going for a fourth interview. That spell of joblessness, that yoke of joblessness is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this time you'll be favored. There's a footballer. You brought your wife to where you live as soon as you were against the wishes of your people they didn't want you to bring that woman you married to the place where you work you're playing for you did that as soon as you did that your career began to retrogress and now they are pointing hands they did what they did to you but they are pointing hands on that lady and you want to send that lady away she's always crying 
you want to send that away because you feel that since you came, your career is retrogressing. But they, your people, did what they did. Now, in the name of Jesus, let the strong man be exposed. Let the truth be open. Let the truth come to light. Let this innocent young lady be vindicated by the Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. What shall you imagine against the Lord? Touch the like button and share the link. Make sure you share the link. In the book of Acts chapter 19, Paul got to Ephesus. That's from where I wrote the book of Ephesians. Actually, Paul started writing to the church. The churches became established from Acts chapter 16. If you read Acts 16 verse 5, the churches were planted. Acts 16 verse 5, they better the church and increase in number. So every city Paul went to, the encounter he had, he had an encounter there. From the encounter he had, he would advise the church there. You see, while he was in Acts 16, that was Philippi. It was where he was beaten, where he went through a lot. And that's why when I was writing to them, he said that I may know him. I can't all be dung because they beat him, they beat Silas. When he got to Acts chapter 18, Acts chapter 19, he got to Acts chapter 19, that was Ephesus. It was a place of witchcraft and wickedness. And that's why I want us to confront wickedness this end time. A place of onslaught, demonic onslaught. In fact, when Paul, don't forget, it was in Acts 19 that seven sons of Sceva, you remember them, who were casting out the death of a man. Say, in the name of Jesus, who Paul preaches. It was in Acts chapter 19, you read from verse 11, 12 down, that Aprons and Anka chiefs were taken from the body of Paul, and evil spirits jumped out. There was a goddess called Diana. The people worshipped Diana. If you read Acts 19, verse 27, 28, you will see where they were praising Diana. They say, great is their God. Diana, verse 28, Diana. They worship Diana. And they were praising Diana. The God of the, of the, of the, of the, of the uh, of, of Ephesians. The God of Ephesus, rather. They were praising. Paul saw a lot there. So when he was writing to the Ephesian church, by reason of what he saw, that, that is why in verse 12 of Ephesians chapter 6, he said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. He knew what he saw in the city of Ephesus. And that was why he advised us. In verse 10 of Ephesians chapter 6, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We're going to consider something in the book of Judges. Anytime Samson is about to perform a major feat, the Bible will say, and the spirit came mightily upon him. Judges 14 verse 6. Judges 15 verse 14. Anytime Samson is about to do something, see, the spirit came mightily. The power of his might. Men become mighty when they encounter the might of God. It's God's might that makes men mighty. It's God's might that makes men mighty. God will turn you to a mighty man in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will turn you to a mighty woman in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will encounter the might of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will encounter the might of God this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of God, come mightily upon me. Spirit of God, Come mightily upon me. Spirit of God, come mightily upon me. Write that down on your platform, your page, everywhere. Spirit of God, come mightily upon me. Spirit of God, come mightily upon me. You will lift your voice to heaven and you will cry out to God. Spirit of God, come mightily upon me. 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 Number one. Spirit of God, come mightily upon me. Shout it again. Spirit of God, come mightily upon me. 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 Again, 
mightily upon me. Again. Spirit of God, come 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 mightily upon me. Ragada, ragada, ragada,
your people now in the name of Jesus yeah. I said the spirit of God comes mightily upon you now in the name of Jesus yeah. for greatness I'm a there, there, are, there are families I'm saying there are families I'm saying the Lord is showing me See, there are families that God is putting an end 
to evil demonic pattern. When it comes to this last month of the year, the Umba month, you go through a circle, a circle. Today, in the name of Jesus, that circle, that demonic pattern is broken. It's 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 broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lillian. Aina. Ayana. Aina. I saw something. The enemy wants you to keep burying your children. The enemy wants you to keep burying. You are buried two. And one is under attack now. In the name of Jesus. May the attacker behind it be exposed. And may the attacker go down. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's done. On us. On us. The Lord is bringing peace into your life. The Lord is bringing peace into your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at this. Look at this. And the Spirit of the Lord, the sixth steel of Judges 14. Touch the like button and share the link. Now. Touch the like button and share the link. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And he rent him. This was a lion. He rent him as he would have rent a kid. And he has nothing in his hand. This month, I would achieve great exploits cheaply. Samson took a lion and tore a lion like he would have torn a kid. This month, I would achieve great exploits cheaply. Great things will happen to you cheaply. Great things will happen to you easily. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Great things will happen to you through you easily, through you cheaply, through you easily. Thomas Shan said, Prota Monday, through you cheaply. Great things will happen through you cheaply, through you easily, through you cheaply. Say, My Father, my Father, my my father, father, my father. father. out in loud and clear. My my father, my father. Father. Let the Lord hear your voice. My my father. Father. Shout it again. My my father. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. As, I as I begin to pray, this month, this month I will achieve great exploits cheaply. This month, this month I will achieve great exploits cheaply. This month, this month I will achieve great exploits cheaply. This month, this month I will achieve great exploits cheaply. Open your mouth and fire prayer.
By the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this month you will achieve great exploits cheaply the God of heaven will set you up for lifting I decree that you become a reference point when exploit is mentioned I decree groundbreaking manifestation news breaking demonstration outstanding expansion I decree the hand of God great things shall happen with ease the anointing for ease to achieve great things and great signs great wonders receive it in the name of Jesus Amen. Regina Bakari the Lord is showing me he said I should tell you I should tell you it's a message from the Lord that I should tell you that from this day the garment of reproach has been rolled away from you and I should tell you that all those that are ganged up against you they will begin to fight themselves in the name of Jesus Amen. Elvis Amwateng 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 you are from Ghana You shall not die. 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 I I call you from the land of the dead. Those who want to take you there may they replace you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Someone is holding what I'll call a death sentence, a medical report that's like a death sentence. And you're asking God for a miracle. I decree it is reversed from death to life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody has a tumor in the brain. In the head. I curse it. I crush it in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I command it to disappear now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have a child that was born with just one testicle, one testicle. You've never seen the other one. God is bringing it out. A miracle happened in the life of that boy now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
somebody is bent you cannot walk straight you are bent the Lord is touching your spine and is healing you it's making you whole now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. it is well with you in Jesus name Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand where you are hurt. Si vous êtes malade, mettez votre main gauche. And stretch your hand to me. I Et command sickness to leave. Moi, que la maladie quitte. I command disease to go. Les infirmités de partir. Affliction go. Les afflictions de partir. Bacteria go. Les bactéries de partir. Viruses go. Les virus de partir. Be healed. Soyez guéri. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. At the hand of the Lord rest upon. Que la main du Seigneur demeure sur vous. Make you whole. Vous vous rend guéri. In Jesus name. Dans le nom de Jésus. The Bible says in Psalm 144, verse 6. Cast forth lightning. Hmm. Scatter them. And scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. The wicked oppressions of darkness. God says he wants to cast forth lightning on them. Every act of wickedness in my life. Oh Lord, cast forth your lightning. Scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lighting shoot cast forth your lighting scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lighting scatter them destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them every act of wickedness in my life oh lord cast forth your lightning scatter them and destroy them say my father my father my, my father, my father. shout it louder than that my, my father, my father. My every act of wickedness in my life every act of wickedness in my life. oh lord Yes. Cast forth your lightning, Project scatter them, and, them. Destroy them. and destroy them. Oh Lord, oh Lord. cast forth your lightning, your your lightning. lightning. scatter them, scatter them. And, destroy them. And, destroy them. and destroy them. Open your mouth and fire pray. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I decree that every one act of wickedness that you've experienced, every one act of wickedness that's resident in your life, may the Lord cast forth his lightning, may he scatter them, may he destroy them in the name of Jesus. Amen. The plans and the purpose of God for your life, I decree they will come to pass. You will not cast your young. The hand of God shall be your real reward. You will enter a new season, a season that will make you unstoppable. A season of rest, a season of peace. God will frustrate the talking of liars. He will make diviners mad. 
you will disappoint the device of the crafty and their hands cannot perform their enterprise. I decree a blessing of God upon you. I decree the grace of God upon you. I decree the power of God upon you. I decree the strength of God upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May you arise. Thank you, Father. Everyone that has an exam to write, you'll be writing and failing. The Lord said to tell you today, not anymore. Success! In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord is opening doors for people. I've seen 63 people. I just saw a key thrown at you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't know what I'm seeing. Somebody's about to go for an operation. You are not sick. But you're about to do something on your skin. You are not sick. I don't know what it is you're about doing on your skin. The Lord says I should tell you not to do it. Because if you do it, it will develop into something you don't like. You're about to do something on your skin. You are not sick. This operation is not because you're sick. There's something about to beautify your skin or something. The Lord says don't do it. Because if you do it, it's going to be bad. Don't do it. There's a woman who is sitting with her husband. You're holding hands. You've been married and you don't have a child. Be fruitful. Be made fruitful in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Claudia. There's somebody called Claudia. 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 The Lord is giving you a testimony and is restoring your wasted years. Your wasted years are being restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are sick in body, place one hand there. Si vous êtes malade, mettez votre main Stretch gauche, your hand towards me. Étendez l'autre main vers moi. I decree healing. La guérison dans votre corps. From the crown of your head. De la tête jusqu'au pied. The soles of your feet. Jusqu'à vos pieds. Heal. Soyez guéri. Your bones. De les os. To your tissues. Dans les tissus. Your blood. Dans votre sang. In Jesus' name. Dans le nom Amen. de Jésus. My time has come. My time has come. My time has come. Listen to me. When you walk into an interview. And you are about to be asked questions. The first thing you say is, Lord, my time has come. When you appear, there are midst of people. You are in the midst of people who need a lot of things. When you say, my time has come, you put a seal and you take ownership of that season. When we say, my time has come, it's after the order of Psalm 102, verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her year. The said time has come. My time has come. When you walk into any place, you start shouting, My time has come. My time has come. My time. People don't understand that you have come there to seize the moment and take the season after the other. When you say, My time has come, mercy shows up, favor shows up. My set time to favor you has come, said the Lord. When you say, My time has come, you are saying, I've, I've seized the moment. I'm taking advantage and leverage. Of this opportunity my time has come 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 when you say my time has come you release the god of big things he does big things and i decree in the name of jesus even as god is god your time to be favored your time to be lifted your time to be blessed your time to expand your time for your career to flourish your profession to expand your time for your children to excel has come in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at what the word of the Lord says. Now do something. If you are watching by television, call someone and let them know one that's without number is on the L Celebration TV. If you are listening to Mixel Arrow, also inform someone. If you are watching by online, do something now. Touch the like button, but above all, share the link. Let somebody pray. This will be a, a blessing to someone if you can teach them to pray. If this generation understands prayer, if this generation becomes a praying generation, there will be less evils. There will be less contention. The reason we see contention is because people don't pray. When you pray, there are lots of things you can't even have capacity to do. Because prayer refires your spirit. Prayer makes you spiritual. So, share the link right now. Share to at least 50 people. If everyone can share to at least 50 people, we invade the timelines. Share, share, keep sharing till you share through. 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 Keep sharing till you share through.
Keep sharing till you share through. Keep sharing till you share through. Keep sharing till you share through. If there is a man to pray, bless the God to us. Somebody say, My time has come. My time has come. Nahum 1, verse 9. What do you imagine against the Lord? Nahum chapter 1, verse 9. It shall make an utter end. I like the word. Utter end. Affliction shall not rise, shall not rise up the second time. Our two prayers are coined from this verse of scripture. It shall make an utter end. Lord, this is heavy. Not just an utter end. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. Make an utter end of evil in my life. There are evil, there are satanic consort and wickedness. God says, I will make an utter end. And as you pray this prayer, God will make an utter end of evil in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right. Amen. Make another end of evil. Write down on your platform. Write that on your page. Write it. Go to the comment section. Write it. Go to the, your uh, IG story. Go to your WhatsApp story. Write it. Make an utter end of evil in my life. And hashtag wonders without number. Invade. Go on X or formerly known as Twitter. Go there. Write it. Just write it everywhere. Every platform you have. Do that now. Do that now. Do that now. Let the devil go mad. Go to all those platform and write. Make another end of evil in my life. Do that right now. Make another end of evil in my life. 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 Number one. Make another end of evil in my life. Shout again. Make another end of evil in my life. Shout again. Make another end of evil in my life. Shout again. Make another end of evil in my life. Again. Make another end of evil in my life. Again. Make another end of evil in my life. Make another end of evil in my life. Again. Make another end of evil in my life. 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 Ya da 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 da
There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. Somebody say, My time has come. My time has come. Say, My time has come. My time has come. I want you to say this all the time in your business. When somebody says, I want us, what, what's going on? Say, My time has come. How come you bought a car? My time has come. You've gotten a house. My time has come. Before you get it and after you get it, that should be your logo, your anthem. Your anthem, my time has come. My time for favor. As you are going for that interview, 
as you are going for that interview my time has come whatever you're going for whatever you are seeking from the lord say it my time has come there's somebody you'll be going for interviews but there's a problem whenever it's almost getting to your turn the interview will be cancelled you will sit down there you'll be in the office when is it getting to your turn they'll say it's cancelled it's happened to you once twice thrice you're going for a fourth interview that spell of joblessness that yoke of joblessness is destroyed in the name of jesus yeah. Yeah. and this time you'll be favored there's a footballer You brought your wife to where you live as soon as you were against the wishes of your people they didn't want you to bring that woman you married to the place where you work you're playing for you did that as soon as you did that your career began to retrogress and now they are pointing hands they did what they did to you but they are pointing hands on that lady and you want to send that lady away she's always crying you want to send her away because you feel that since she came your career is retrogressing but there your people did what they did now in the name of jesus let the strong man be exposed let the truth be open let the truth come to light let this innocent young lady be vindicated by the almighty god in the name of jesus christ Amen. what shall you imagine against the lord touch the like button and share the link make sure you share the link he will make an utter end for affliction shall not rise up a second time the second time now this speaks of satanic reinforcement there's one thing about the devil when you pull him down he always reinforces satan doesn't give up even concerning jesus if you read matthew chapter 4 from verse 4 luke 4 from verse 4 when he left jesus the bible say he left for a season he didn't leave finally he didn't leave totally he left satan never gives up that's a virtue of the devil he keeps trying he said, I go about the toe and fro the earth looking for whom I made the vow. Satanic reinforcement. Don't forget, Jesus was talking to us in Matthew chapter 12. He said, when an evil spirit is cast out of a man, he wandered through dry places, seeking rest and finding none, and says, I will return back to the house I have left. You see that? Satanic reinforcement. When it says, rise up a second time, it means you must pray against satanic reinforcement. I reject every satanic reinforcement in my life. 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 I reject, I reject, I reject, I reject, I reject. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, shout it louder than that. My in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, I reject, I reject every satanic reinforcement in my life. Every satanic reinforcement in my life. I reject, I reject every satanic reinforcement in my life. Every satanic reinforcement in my life. I reject, I reject every satanic reinforcement in my life. Every satanic reinforcement in my life. Open your mouth and fire, please. I'm not going to do that. 
to my faith. I connect. Wherever you hear the sound of my voice from, I decree upon your life today that God shall make an utter end of evil in your life and family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree no more evil in your life, no more evil in your family. It has come to an utter end. It has come to an utter end. It has come to an utter end in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray today against satanic reinforcement. 
What is gone is gone forever. Sickness will not return back. Affliction will not return back. Disease will not return back. Setback will not return back. Pain will not return back. Hardship will not return back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree upon your life. Enter a new season of power, of grace, of intervention, of help. And begin to enjoy the blessings of God. Begin to enjoy the covenant promises that God has ordained for you. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed. Dr. Tessie. I don't know who is by that name. Dr. Tessie. The Lord is taking confusion. You're about to make a decision and you're confused. Clarity is coming to your spirit. Clarity. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see a woman, your husband has packed out of the house and moved into another woman's house. And now that woman is taunting you, writing things, posting things to taunt you, taking videos and pictures with your husband. And this is the father of your children. Right now, I command the bewitchment, that power that has bewitched your husband, is mind. Let that spare be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let his mind be restored. And I turn his eyes in the realm of the spirit back to his own family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. There are 93 people. The Lord says, I should tell you that this September, your wedding gown and wedding suits are released. Your marriage will manifest. As I speak, there are 11 of you who have nobody, no partner. But the Lord said, God will bring a partner this September. And the settlement will still be this September. It shall happen by his finger in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I bless you with the blessings of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand on that spot. Si vous êtes malade, placez vos mains gauche. And stretch your hand towards me. Et tendez l'autre main vers moi. I rebuke sickness. Je réprimande la maladie. I rebuke disease. Je réprimande la maladie. I rebuke infirmity. Je réprimande l'infirmité. I rebuke affliction. Je réprimande les afflictions. Go! In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go! In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That you be healed. Soit guéri. Be made whole. Soit guéri. Be free. Soit be healed Soit from the crowns of your head de la tête to the sole of your feet pied. be healed Soit someone with a stubborn chronic blood disease has been healed stubborn chronic blood disease you are healed in Jesus name Amen, Amen. your time has come somebody say my time has come my time has come say my time has come my time has come Let's thank you for joining us in prayer I may the Lord answer your prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.